Next speaker. Aloha. Aloha. Introduce my, yourself. My name is Stephanie Sanev. Uh, thank you, Gary, for Bill 2491. I support it. I endorse it st strongly. I live part-time in Kauai, so I'm, I have a passionate interest in what happens on this island. I am a senior research scientist at MIT, and my recent research has involved trying to understand what's causing the autism epidemic in America, currently one in 50, one in 31 boys. I have a BS degree in biology and a PhD in computer science from MIT, and I have researched and published many papers on autism. My research has led me to conclude that exposure to environmental pesticides may be the most important factor contributing to the autism epidemic. I believe these chemicals also play an important role in the obesity epidemic in America and the worldwide die-off of frogs and bee colony collapse syndrome. This problem relates directly to the GMOs because the majority of the GMO crops are engineered to be resistant to herbicides. The GMO corn, soy, cotton, canola, and alfalfa make up core crops at the base of the processed food industry. Their production has shot up in the last 15 years in step with significantly greater applications of herbicides in contrast to what was said earlier. This means that a much larger residue ends up in the food chain. Remarkably, the autism rates in America's school system have gone up in lockstep with increased uses of GMO corn and soy, as have many other diseases. The fields around YMA are flooded with a chemical toxic soup with unimaginable consequences to the long-term health of not only the people, but also the soil, the water, and the surrounding seashore. Atrazine, chlorpyrifos, and paraquat top the list of restricted use pesticides applied by the chemical companies here. Paraquat causes dermatitis, nosebleeds, Parkinson's disease, and multi-organ failure. Chlorpyrifos disrupts synaptic growth, reduces IQ in pre with prenatal exposure, causes birth defects and learning disabilities. Atrazine causes breast cancer and prostate cancer, miscarriage, and fertility issues. One can only imagine the increased medical burden to the citizens of Kauai in years to come. It's unconscionable that these chemical companies have been spraying these toxic chemicals right next door to public schools. The word for crisis in Chinese has two symbols, one of which means danger and the other means opportunity. Kauai is facing a crisis right now, and along with it comes an opportunity to do the right thing. Consumer demand for organic foods is growing exponentially. <clears throat> The demand has quadrupled in the last decade, according to the USDA. I envision a future Kauai where ecotourism is an active industry that combines vacationing in a beautiful island with um, beautiful island paradise with, edu with education on how to grow safe, sustainable crops efficiently. Organic foods will be in high demand once people become fully aware of the dangers of these chemicals, and Three we should minutes. be ready with an answer. Future summarize. generations will look back on Kauai's role in history in one of two ways. It's our choice to make. Thank you. Uh, question. Thank you question, very much. please. Question. Question, doctor. Oh, we have a question. Dr. No. Sennett, I am familiar with your very interesting work correlating um, Roundup with autism. And I'd like just a yes or no answer if you can do this. Do you have research correlating any other pesticides with autism? Well, round, does this work? Roundup works synergistically with the other pe pesticides to make them much more toxic than they would otherwise be. And, and you have research to show this? It shows it in the paper. Due to its suppression of a certain class of enzymes that, that uh, metabolize these other toxins. So they stick around longer and they cause more damage. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, one more question, Dr. Council Member Bynum. One more question, Doctor. Simply, I just want to know if we can get a copy of your written testimony, please. Oh, I, I sent testimony. I can give you this as well. So okay. you can keep this if you okay. want. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you.